Hi, my name is Rick Gale, and I'm with AMD's Client Product Group. And I'm very excited to be here today to talk to you a little bit about AMD's Fusion platform and how it is going to accelerate mainstream consumer workloads. And so that's why AMD's Fusion architecture takes the best of the x86 CPU world, combines it with our leading class of graphics capabilities and puts that onto a single piece of silicon with some advanced architecture to really make for an efficient user experience uh, in mainstream consumer workloads uh, and mainstream systems. So I'm going to show you an example today of something that everyone does, which is browsing the internet. I'll show you the what you have today with an Internet Explorer that is not using GPU acceleration. And then I'll show you a glimpse of the future in which GPU acceleration comes in and helps your browsing capabilities. So first I'll bring up Microsoft's Internet Explorer 8, which is shipping today. And I'm out at a website where you see that you have a capability of test driving Internet Explorer 9. This is an upcoming browser from Microsoft that will take full advantage of the GPUs in your system. So what I'm going to first show you is an example of your web browser today using the CPU to go off and render some richer websites. This one is called Browser Flip. And what you see is a number of tiles down here. And when I wand the mouse over top of the tiles, you'll see a logo shoots out at you. And these are logos of different browsers that are out on the market today. And if I go now rapidly across all these tiles, you can see that in order to take those graphical images and make them pop out and shoot back in and to do that rapidly. I'm very constrained again because the CPU is doing all of the rendering. I'll now pull up the preview copy of Internet Explorer 9 and the difference here is this browser is actually leveraging the power of the GPU and this is running on a Fusion platform and all of a sudden you can see all of those logos, all of that graphics content popping out rapidly, no user delay. I'll show you another example, and I'm going to go down to something called Flying Images. Again, this is using some logos for different web browsers out there today. In this case, it has 36 images that it's trying to render on the screen. And as I move my mouse up and down and spin it side to side, the logo should be following my mouse. And you can see it's very challenged to do that. When I go back to the Internet Explorer 9, you'll see incredible difference. It follows my mouse up and down, and then as I spin side to side, very responsive. Now, when these browsers get released, they will take advantage of whatever GPU capabilities you have in your system. And what I'll show you next is how the capabilities will actually scale with the graphics power. So, whereas a low-end system may be able to handle this type of uh, graphics load, if I go in and increase my number of images from 36 to 64 and now 100, as I move my mouse up and down again and spin left to right, again, you can see very responsive. Whereas on lower end systems today with inferior graphics capabilities, won't be able to keep up with that. So if you have a platform which has you know, lower uh, performance graphics, you'll still get some acceleration because all the browsers will be leveraging that. But the better graphics uh, capabilities that you have in your system, the better experience you're going to get on the higher end multimedia sites. So the example I've shown you here today is Microsoft's Internet Explorer 8 shipping today uh, versus the beta preview of the Internet Explorer 9, which will be coming out uh, at a future point in time. I want to note that this is not just restricted to Microsoft. All of the web browsers, the mainstream web browser companies, are all looking at the power of the graphics and systems you know, today and in the future, and they'll be taking advantage of that. So Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox and a number of others are all doing similar things in which they'll be tapping into the power of the GPU to greatly enhance your web browsing experience. And again, not only for uh, multimedia and video, but also even just rendering text faster. So now the next demonstration I'd like to show is an example of some light productivity. Uh, if, if you work in uh, you know, many companies today, you use uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. And what I'm going to show here is an example of how the new Office 2010 will take advantage of the GPU power of your system. So I'm going to pull up a PowerPoint deck. As you can see, I'm running the beta, uh, public beta of Microsoft Office 2010. And the first thing I want to do is just go up and um, do something most people probably don't do, which is go look at the advanced properties of their system. So when I go look at the options and I go into the advanced, I go down here under display. And one thing to point out is you see a checkbox that says disable hardware graphics acceleration. 
this checkbox is not checked. What's important to note here that in many applications, Previously, if you wanted to take advantage of a more powerful GPU, you would actually have to go in and check the box in that application to say, please take advantage because I have a more powerful GPU. Microsoft and many other companies are recognizing that more powerful systems are going to be uh, there in everyone's hands in mainstream applications. And so they're going off and shipping PowerPoint 2010 with this option automatically enabled. So for the purpose of the demonstration, I will turn this off. So now again, I'm only using my CPU to do a number of the effects that you're going to see. And as I start off, and this is just a test slideshow, what I'll do is I transition from screen to screen. And you'll see I have some nicer, richer effects that Microsoft put into PowerPoint 2010. And depending on the transition effect, what you can see is there's some stuttering or some slowdown, and uh, it's not as smooth as it could be. This next example is pretty stark, where you're breaking the image up into you know, thousands of boxes and reforming that. So now what I'll do is I'll go back into my settings, and I'm just going to uncheck that box. So now the application is going to be using the processing power of the GPU in this Fusion system. So now as you can see, as I transition from slide to slide, the effects are much smoother. You can actually see the full effects as with that water droplet. And as you go to the ones that get much more intensive in terms of the tiling and the uh, the shattering into hundreds and thousands of boxes, that it's a very smooth, very rich experiences. Now, if you take a uh, higher-end PowerPoint presentation with embedded video and moving content on the slides themselves, you can start to understand that a system with richer graphics capability is going to provide a much better experience, even in a presentation type of application.